Hey YouTube, what's up? So we are here tonight, very late, recording a hashtag Ask to Eat episode for all of you. So let's do it. B H I N I A asked, who hogs the covers more? I think I do. Definitely you. You think you do? <laughs> I'm always just like grabbing it and like rolling over, and I think I'll like wake up and see that you don't have any. So I'm sorry. You also push me off to the edge of the bed too. Well, yeah. I'm not stopping that. Lao asked, who is the little spoon? I think we take turns. We do take turns. But we do this weird thing where I'm like on you and I just put my leg like this. I'm kind of like forking you <laughs> and you're the knife. You're sort of like a spatula too, because you're gonna like flip me. Oh, sure. Ari asked, how did you celebrate your seven year anniversary? We forgot, <laughs> as usual. Actually, Twitter reminded us. I remember I was browsing it and people were like, happy seven years. And I was like, oh, that's today. So thank you guys for letting us know. We just cuddled and watched things. But we made up for it a week later with a secret mission <gasps> that we're gonna show you guys really soon. So stay tuned for that. Blaine Dykey asked, young Bernie Sanders or young Joe Biden? I think I'm gonna go side with Leslie Nope on this one. Joe Biden was a hottie when he was young. Big fan of Bernie, but I think Biden takes the cake with the looks. I mean, Bernie's cute too, don't get me wrong. Have you seen young Tim Kaine? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> What's with all these politicians, like, being like, hey, we were attractive once too, you know? <laughs> Morgan D asked, do you want to be full-time YouTubers? I don't think so. I think we very much like it being a part of our life but not like our whole life. Ever since we went down to just one video a week, we've definitely had more time to do things together and like spend more time together. I appreciate the opportunities that YouTube has afforded us as well. And I think because of YouTube, we've been able to do a lot of other things. We're not quitting YouTube anytime soon, but we definitely don't want to do it full time. I'm pretty content with how it is right now. Same. Same Z's. B. Sandini asked, who's the better kisser? Let's find out. We both went the wrong way. <laughs> that answers that question. <laughs> Why was it so awkward? <laughs> now we can't guess because you're laughing. <laughs> I guess neither of us are good kissers at all. We messed that one up. Next question. Oliver asked, do either of you own a jock strap? I do. What is a jock strap again? It's like that thing that you put around here and it just covers here. And just oh, for there. like athletes? I mean, there are like sexy ones too, but mine is not a sexy one. I didn't really do sports, so I don't know how. You, you didn't do sports? I did running. It's <laughs> not even what it's called. <laughs> Paul asked, can I have a hug? Yes. Virtual hug right now. Real hug when we meet you in person someday. And we also have a handshake waiting for you as well. Because that's part of your Patreon perk. <laughs> Speaking of Patreon. These are all Patreon people. You should become a patron and then you can ask questions and get answers to them. <laughs> really selling it. <laughs> Queenie asked, who farts more? Okay, I mean, it's true. You do loud ones and sticky ones. And I just never fart. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it's him. It's so weird. He never fart. Sometimes I'll do a silent but deadly. And you also don't burp. So no, I can't burp either. There's no air inside of you. Todd asks, who inspires you? I'm not gonna say Tom. Oh my god, I was so close to saying it. First person that comes to mind is Ava DuVernay. She is a filmmaker. She just made this really crucial documentary called 13th. It's on Netflix, you should watch it. She is a powerful black woman who gets her voice out there and she's heard. And she gets other people's voices out there too and that inspires me. I'll say Bernie Sanders, because I think he really believes in what he's saying, and he's a really admirable guy. I wish he were in a little bit more power right now, but he's a good dude. And he was cute, like, four years ago, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Not as cute as Joe Biden. Not as cute as Joe Biden. Zippy asked, what one responsibility would you get rid of today? Folding socks. Really? I'll do that. That's not that bad. All right, I got rid of it. I'm gonna say doing the dishes. Well, I do all your dishes all the time anyway, so. I know, so we'll just do a little trades easy. Yeah, that, that works. Cool. Done. <laughs> that was a terrible high five. Team beep. <laughs> we can't do anything right. Dylan asks if Trump were to overturn same sex marriage, would you move and where would you go? I actually don't think that he has any interest in overturning same sex marriage. Mm -hmm. If Mike Pence became president somehow, yeah. then I would be worried. But even still, it would be very difficult for him to do it because it would have to go through the Supreme Court. I don't think we would because I think it's important to stay and fight for what you believe in mm -hmm. rather than just like moving away. We want to move away for different reasons. <laughs> we would love to live like in London again, but 
Yeah, I think we're gonna stay put and fight the good fight. Mike asked, what is your favorite and least favorite place in New York? Favorite place, Washington Square Park. My favorite place is Madison Square Park, which is different from Madison Square Garden. That's not even near Madison Square Garden. I don't know why it's called that. Least favorite place is Times Square. Oh, that's a good one. My least favorite place is Penn Station because everyone's always running around there with their heads cut off. There's nothing fun to do there. Everything's overpriced and it's just like crazy crowded. That's like the same thing as Times Square. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Some of our patrons were able to ask questions and if you guys are interested in supporting us on Patreon, the link will be in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, please click subscribe so you can see us every single Wednesday. <laughs> You have to think about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Beep. I'm Beep. We are two Beeps. Peacing out. Beeps out. Beeps out. The P did not pop. You gotta pop that P. There's an empty P. Empty P? Unpopable. Unpopable. Something is seriously wrong with this. <laughs> we need to stop.